and welcome back to my channel. So today we are doing a little bit of a different video. I've been wanting to do this type of video for a while but just hadn't got around to it. I am going to be showing you behind the scenes of how I plan my Instagram photos, how I take my Instagram photos, how I edit my Instagram photos, all that stuff, diving into it, showing you behind the scenes. This actually is a sponsored video by Kara, so I will be talking about all of their lovely products. We are going to go shoot one of them today. Um, so my YouTube, Instagram, real life friend, Emily, um, we meet up once to twice a week and take Instagram photos for each other. It's really fun. So this week, today is Sunday. We are meeting up today and we are meeting up on Tuesday. Um, I believe we both have brand photos to do today and then Tuesday is more of like a fall vibes casual shoot. So I'm going to take you along with the shoot this morning and I'm also going to go to the mall and try and find some outlets for the shoot on Tuesday and then show you how I prep for that. So trying to get a lot done in this video and hopefully it will be helpful for you guys. I will link my Instagram down below. I'll also put some photos on the screen for reference so you can see like my Instagram style if you will before we get into this. Shout out to Pangu. I bought myself a giant stuffed animal this week because self-care. Okay so I'm gonna quickly prop you guys up and show you the Kara bag that we're going to be shooting this afternoon. I'll show you a little bit more and talk about the bags a little bit later on but this is the main product that I'm going to shoot today. I think that that's all that I had to say in the intro, so that's what we're going to be doing today. Have my iced coffee on hand. Figured I would show you guys how I do my Instagram stuff, because I don't really talk about it much, so yeah, let's go. Oh, I'm all over the place this morning. Uh, Emily and I typically do our photos at the top of a parking garage downtown where we live. Helps me keep my feed cohesive, which I, without actually being such a stickler about like a cohesive organized feed. Because I don't care about that so much, but it's nice to shoot somewhere consistently so that it just looks cohesive without trying too hard. So we're going to go to the parking garage and I will take you guys along with me. So it has been like three hours since I talked to you guys last. It is now 4.20. Um, I met Emily around 12.15 and then I went to the mall. Um, I just popped in. I wanted to see what was new at Aritzia. You can see my bag there. I purchased three things. Not totally sure about them. I did just want to show some close-up detailed shots of the Kira pieces. The two items that I'm showing you guys are going to both be linked down below. So the Stratus backpack that I was shooting earlier. There is space for a water bottle inside and outside of the bag. There is a separate padded 15 inch laptop compartment. This is so amazing that it's completely separate from the bag. It also comes with two shoe and wet pouches, which is amazing, especially for me shooting. I will be putting some extra shoes in there for when I shoot my photos on Tuesday, I would imagine. It is vegan friendly and the Italian nylon material that it is made out of is ultra light water resistant. I've always wanted a really good quality, chic, luxurious backpack that still functions as I need my backpack to, but is still very stylish and will go with any outfit. So this totally does that for me and I love it. And then the travel kit that I was showing you guys earlier on today that I've been using to store my makeup in the bathroom. This item is vegan leather. Again, the ultra weight water resistant Italian nylon material. Super, super cute. I love the coloring of this bag. I went with black for the backpack because it's more versatile, less likely to get grubby because I'm bringing it outside more, but for the travel bag, I'm going to be keeping it inside more. So I went with this really pretty cream color. There are two separate main compartments, a clear jewelry pocket, two complimentary shoe and clothing pouches as with the backpack. I absolutely love having these and I love that there's a little jewelry component as well. Those are the details of the pieces. I really do encourage you to check out Kara. Their items are so, so cute. I know a lot of us 
likely aren't traveling right now and really shouldn't be but I think especially something like a backpack is so versatile you can use it going to your friend's house for me going to shoot photos having like a compartment for my camera place for my shoes different outfits all of that is so freaking handy and the travel bag is super cute and very helpful for moving my product back and forth from my room to the bathroom because that's as much traveling as I'm doing at the moment but it's very handy to have for sure and it looks really cute on my bathroom counter so I did just want to show you guys a little bit of how I pick my photos how I edit my photos for my Instagram and plan out my feed and stuff because I said I was going to do that for every photo that you see on my main feed I usually took like 50 shots to get a good photo which is pretty crazy sometimes I will post photos on the same day like this one and this one were on the same day yeah that explains why I have so many so I'm just gonna scroll through and um usually I just delete the ones that I know I don't like and see what I'm left with and then go in and import those into Lightroom so I'm just gonna speed through figure out which ones I don't like delete those and hopefully we'll be left with some that I can import into Lightroom and edit those so I just went through and deleted all of the ones that were kind of meh I'm not obsessed with any of these so far without an edit but that's usually the case so this is what my Lightroom looks like I have purchased presets in the past but I've just revised them to what I like and that's pretty much the same preset applied to everything on here so I just import all of my photos here and then I just take a edit from a photo that I have used in the past like we'll just take it from this one and then I just copy my settings from that photo paste that setting so you can see there what the edit looks I always like it so much more with the edit applied so that is before the edit and that is after I don't know how well you can tell in the camera so I'm just going to go through and apply that preset maybe adjust it slightly to all of the photos okay now I narrowed it down to five I think I like at least one of these enough to post um so I'm just going to go ahead and export them to my camera roll and it just adds them in there and crops them exactly like how you'll see on Instagram that one's actually kind of cute Cool. Okay, I'll keep those for now. Do you want to see what I bought at the mall? Should we see what I bought from Aritzia? With the money that I don't have, so I'll probably have to return them. So I did purchase three items. We have a sweater, a dress that I had in my cart online. Really, really love the dress. And some biker shorts. Probably my favorite piece. I'm absolutely obsessed with this color right now for fall and just in general. It's really flattering. So this is the... I can link the items down below. But this is the calf bf cropped in dusty mauve this is a size three the sizes are weird they're like one two three whatever this was 70 dollars. so if there's one thing i'm gonna keep it'll probably be this one just because i'll get the most wear out of that it's just so cute i love the detailing on it like even here really well made and I'll wear this a lot and then I picked up this dress this is slightly out of my comfort zone because it's a little bit more fitted but it is a dress that's like a ribbed sweater type of material this is from the Sunday best line I'm usually a medium across the board at Aritzia um, and it's called the angel black dress from Sunday best and then the last thing that I got are these shorts these are the Atmosphere shorts in the 9-inch seam um, in Dusty Mauve, and these were $38, so super, super good price. I love the length, and I bought these to go with a top that I got from Old Navy that I need to wash and show you guys in a sec. So I went and grabbed the shirt that I bought the shorts for. So for this outfit, I got this shirt from Old Navy. It's a men's large um, and it says here for the booze with um, skeleton hands and like beer hands. I think it's super cute. And it's super soft and oversized. So I got this to either wear with these shorts, which are medium from Aritzia as well. Previously owned by me. Obviously they're all wrinkly. And then these are the new ones. So I just tried stuff on and I actually like the shorts that I already own better with the top. I just like the cool tones together. So I'm going to wash those tonight and then put them in the duster bag, a separate duster bag. And then I tried on the dress and it looks super cute with these high booties. And then I went ahead and put 
both of my shoe bags into the backpack and I still have plenty of room for my outfits once I have them all washed and ironed. That is all that I have for you guys for this video. Don't mind my makeup, it looks kind of crazy because I had to wear a mask in the mall obviously. So I'm gonna go ahead and start doing my laundry, getting the clothes ready because I work all day tomorrow and try and get this video edited and up by tomorrow night as well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you liked a little bit of behind the scenes, how I plan my Instagram, how I edit, prep my clothes to get ready for a shoot with my friend and a little behind the scenes. So I hope this was helpful, beneficial for you guys. Let me know if you'd like to see more in depth, anything relating to Instagram, like tips. I don't even know what I'm doing. Um, I just have fun with Instagram and YouTube and stuff. So I thought it would be cool to show you guys a little bit of behind the scenes because I don't really talk about my Instagram and like fashion stuff as much on here. I'm more about beauty, but I'd like to start doing more of both and more lifestyle stuff as well. Definitely, definitely be sure to check out Kara. I am so thankful that they sent over their products. This backpack especially is such a lifesaver with shooting and stuff, especially on days when I'm doing two or more outfits. It is so essential keeps me all organized. I will leave all of the important info that you need to know down below. I will also link the stuff that I bought at the mall today from Aritzia. If you guys enjoyed this video or you want to see a video similar to this, definitely be sure to give it a thumbs up. Let's me know what you guys like to see the most so I can film more of that for you. I hope that you guys enjoyed this. As always, thank you so, so much for watching and I hope that you have or had an absolutely awesome day. Bye.